Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, well, summer's here, so I thought I'd talk about my designer sunglass collection. My name's Claire and I put out videos on luxury handbags and accessories. So if that's your thing, please click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll know when I upload a new video. So let's get started. So if you're looking to dip your toe into the luxury world, then designer sunglasses can be a way to go because they don't cost the earth, certainly not as much as a bag, but you can get some really lovely designs and styles. Now, I bought my first pair of designer sunglasses 30 years ago. Um, they were a pair of Gucci's. So this was my first pair in tortoise shell. You can see the Gucci logo there on the side. And I bought these in 1990. So very much considered a vintage pair of sunglasses now. I wore those for a few years. Then about 95, 96, um, I went to America and I bought myself a pair of Ray-Bans. Now, at the time, Ray-Bans were much cheaper in America than over here in the UK, so I bought these. So these are round with very dark lenses and they have gold and tortoise shell. So again, a vintage pair, this time by Ray-Ban. I wore these, I wore these for a few years um, and then I just put them away. I was having a clear out a couple of years ago and I came across them and I thought, oh, I don't know if I'll wear them again. And I, I was considering maybe selling them or giving them to charity. And last year, for some reason, I just liked the vibe of them and I started wearing them again. So no, I'm not giving them away. I'm not selling them. I'm definitely gonna keep these. So those two pairs of sunglasses covered the 1990s. We now get to the early 2000s and I started getting into the really big sunglasses trend. And I saw in a magazine article a picture of virtually every celebrity that was big at the time wearing a pair of these next sunglasses. Um, they were on Paris Hilton, uh, Jennifer Aniston, Kate Beckinsale. Um, and these sunglasses are by Oliver Peoples and these ones are the Harlot sunglasses. Um, now they came in a variety of colours and I absolutely agonised over which colour to get. I ended up getting these which are the mahogany ones with the gold bars at the side um, and when they arrived I wore them a little bit but then I decided they didn't suit me and I didn't like the colour and I really wished I'd got them in a different colour. Um, I actually really love them now and I wear them now but um, at the time I was a bit annoyed because I'd spent a lot of money on them and I, I didn't wear them. But I'm glad I kept them all those years because as I say, I do wear them now. I actually really like the colour now and I do like the style. So I decided at the time I didn't like that style of Oliver Peoples, but I did like Oliver Peoples sunglasses. So I looked around for some different styles and I came across the Layla style. And I did actually buy two pairs around about 2004 of the Layla glasses. Now this is the Oliver Peoples Layla sunglasses in black with the silver at the sides. So I really liked these and I wore these all the time. And when I wanted a little change, then I wore my Oliver Peoples Layla sunglasses in the tortoise shell and these have gold at the side. So love these as well. And in particular, I like these because they had pink on the inside. So I wore those two pairs of sunglasses pretty much uh, from 2004 up until about 2010. At that point I bought myself another pair of big sunglasses. Um, I was trying to find a pair by Gucci but instead I found a pair by Tom Ford who did design for Gucci as well and I got the Tom Ford Whitney sunglasses in all black. I love these because they have the little cut out sides and uh, I've worn these pretty much consistently for the last 10 years. Just a big pair of black sunglasses, which are very much my style. The only other pair of sunglasses I have bought in the last 10 years, probably about four years ago, were my Ray-Ban Aviators. And these are polarized and they've got the silver side with the blue frames. Um, I do like these. Again, when I'm after a certain vibe, I wear these. Although I do find that if the sun is really bright, the lens is just not enough to shield your eyes, so I, I only wear these when it's not really, really bright outside. So, just two more pairs to show you, my most recent pairs. Because I loved the Oliver Peoples Harlot sunglasses, 
but like I said when I bought them in the mahogany I wasn't that happy with the colour. I decided to buy them again recently, I bought a pre-loved pair and this time I bought them in the grey and silver. So they've got silver at the side, the lenses are a dark grey and the frames are sort of a, a grey with silver flecks. So I'll just show you a bit more close up, you can see the lens. Don't know how well you can see that but that is a, a sort of a grey colour so that's the harlot star I've been wearing these a lot this year when it has been sunny and we've been going out for walks so I did recently buy myself a pair of Celine sunglasses all black and these are the round butterfly style I'm not a hundred percent sure of these yet because they're quite bold quite out there but I think they'll grow on me and I will start wearing those uh, this summer as well so just all black with Celine and the little dots on the side there. So that's my designer sunglasses collection. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.